Now, one of the things I learned with shoulders is that, you know, when, when you start going into these lightweight, isolated type exercises, you know, side raises, front raises, machines, things like that, that feel kind of safe when you're in the gym, it's one of the biggest mistakes you can make and it will really leave you vulnerable to injuries outside the gym. And that's where it counts. It's all about performance, you guys. Like if you can, it doesn't matter what you can lift in the gym, if you go out and you're working around the house, in the yard, you know, reaching, doing things overhead, you know, lifting something up or playing a sport that's, you know, like a throwing motion or a swing motion and you injure a shoulder, it doesn't matter what you're doing in the gym if it doesn't translate into or carry over into your performance in your everyday life. So some of the things that, that we do here, um, we do this a lot with our high performance training uh, clients is you know, we do a lot of, of work to help strengthen the shoulders. And that's like the one thing is that, yes, one, you need mobility. You've got to be able to move your shoulders. So if you're really tight and you don't have movement, you've got to get the movement in there. So I will give kind of the physical therapy exercises that much credit that if you're really, really tight, you know, and have an, um, uneven movement patterns, everything's unbalanced, they will help establish better mobility. But once you've got that, you've got to start building strength. And it doesn't mean that you start lifting like, you know, tons and tons of weights, you know, overhead and doing crazy things like that. It just means that you're, you're using weights that are, that are going to really challenge the muscles, not just of the shoulder, but there's, there's muscles that surround the shoulder and there's other muscles that, that help to, um, to help stabilize and, and give strength to the shoulder. So what I'm talking about more is like these full movement patterns. We do things like, um, we do a lot of stability type exercise. So we do things like bear crawls. We're doing things like renegade rows. You know, a lot of things we do from uh, a push-up position, like the top of, of a push-up or what we call a high plank position. Those are some of the best things you could do because they, they get muscles in your shoulders, in your upper back and, and all around. They start integrating all these muscles that help support and give strength to your shoulder. Now, some of the other things that we do, like we'll work on the pressing patterns, right? So, you know, things where we're pushing, we push overhead, um, we push front to back, you know, so we're definitely doing pushing exercises as well. Um, and then some of the other things though, and this is a thing that a lot of people don't think about, are pulling exercises. So we do a lot of pulling, like rowing type exercises, bent over rows. We do modified pull-ups um, on the bar behind me. You can see right there, we'll do recline you know, pull-ups on there, regular pull-ups. Um, we will do band pull-aparts. We will do um, bent over reverse flies, like with dumbbells, or you, know, you might know them in the gym as like rear delts. But you know, we use a technique in there to really get the upper back. So it's things that really integrate the upper back right across the shoulder blades. Because again, you're looking to get those type of muscles that help to stabilize and give strength to the shoulder. So isolating the shoulder with these you know, front raise, side raise type things is not going to cut it. It's, it's just going to make the problems worse down the road. So start thinking about in terms of stability, right? Get those bear crawls in, get things, you know, even like mountain climbers, renegade rows, get, you know, crawling type exercises, high plank push-up type exercises and pulling exercises into the mix. They will do your shoulders a lot of good. You'll, you'll feel how much stronger you get and how much better your shoulders start to feel the more that you do this type of stuff. All right, so that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions on anything related to, you know, building strength, getting yourself stronger, getting yourself feeling better, overcoming injuries, and just things that'll help you perform at your highest level, let me know. Shoot me a question, leave me a comment, and I'll do my best to help you out. Till next time, you guys, take care.